One of the smartest ways to grow your brand on social media right now is definitely using vertical video formats. I'm talking Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and even Pinterest idea pins. That's where all the current attention lives. If you create long-form content, how do you turn those hours into snackable vertical clips without spending forever editing them? This video will walk you through a fast, practical workflow to turn your live streams into scroll-stopping vertical content instantly. I will show you a real shortcut for creators that doesn't feel like a cheesy advertisement for a specific tool. If you want to start growing with smarter content this year, then definitely stick around for the whole explanation. Please hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of the vital follow-up guides I plan to drop soon. Quick intro, I'm Desiree and I help small businesses and creators truly level up their entire content strategy. I produce tons of long-form stuff like interviews and live Q&As, and I used to spend days just chopping files for TikTok. Over the last year, I found a workflow that saves massive amounts of time by using one key AI tool to do the heavy lifting for me. I personally use StreamYard to host my shows because it's browser-based and makes adding guests incredibly simple. But this entire repurposing process will absolutely still work no matter what recording software you choose to use. Step one is getting your final recording file downloaded and ready to go. Whether you use Riverside, Zoom or StreamYard, just navigate to your past recording section. I always grab the highest quality MP4 file available, so I have the absolute best source material for clipping. If you record podcasts, you might download separate audio tracks, but for video repurposing, the combined file is absolutely necessary. Step two is uploading everything to the AI platform instead of opening a dozen different timeline editors. Here is the truly fun part. The platform's powerful AI scans the entire video from start to finish. It then finds all the viral worthy moments like energetic takes, punchy lines and funny emotional reactions automatically. This process is like having an expert assistant that already knows exactly what type of content performs well online. You can choose to let the AI auto-create the clips based on its predictions, or you can easily pick out the best segments manually. I typically let it do the first full pass, and then I go in quickly to refine any of the generated suggestions. The reason this beats manual workflows like CapCut or Premiere is entirely about saving you critical time. CapCut is great for quick mobile edits, but you still have to manually scrub the timeline and decide what to keep. You must manually crop to 916, add all your captions, and decide which moments you want to export one by one. For someone with hours of content weekly, that manual process quickly turns into a massive, soul-crushing time sink. This smart AI method completely removes the moment identification step and delivers ready-to-post clips in minutes. Step 3 involves correctly reframing your video for the required 916 vertical screen. All vertical platforms demand that specific aspect ratio, so you must recompose your original widescreen footage. The AI includes smart reframing that automatically crops and tracks the primary speaker to keep faces centered. This tracking feature also ensures that no important visual elements or overlays get chopped off the edge unexpectedly. If you have guests side by side, the system can often detect who is currently talking and crop to focus on them precisely. You can always manually tweak the framing later to show more background, but the initial auto reframe is a huge time investment saver. Step four is ensuring you have perfect captions and engaging on-screen text, which is absolutely vital for capturing attention. Silent autoplay is the default everywhere, meaning captions are truly non-negotiable for keeping viewers engaged past the first few seconds. The platform will auto-generate highly accurate subtitles right from your transcript, and editing the raw text is very straightforward inside the tool. I recommend breaking the lines so you don't overwhelm the screen, aiming for a maximum of two lines per clip for best readability. Remember to increase the font size a little bit so the text remains perfectly legible even on a very small phone screen. You should also add a quick strong hook text near the top like why you're doing this wrong to instantly drive initial views. These short headline texts positioned prominently at the top are proven drivers for increasing click-through rates on your short videos. Step 5 is fine-tuning the exact length for each platform's best practices. Instagram and Facebook Reels generally perform best when kept under the 60-second mark for maximum engagement. TikTok is more flexible on length, but shorter clips often get much better organic discovery from new audiences. YouTube Shorts also sees the best results when the total runtime stays under one minute for its unique discovery algorithm. The smart tools can output multiple length versions, say 15s, 30s and 60s, from the same source material instantly. This allows you to test different durations across channels without wasting time re-editing from the beginning every time you need a new cut. I personally create one punchy 15 to 30 second cut for TikTok and Shorts and a longer version for Reels. Let's compare this to other editors to see why this is a superior path for scaling content creation. Powerful editors like Premiere Pro are fantastic but require a very manual step-by-step -step process for every single cut you make. CapCut is user-friendly on mobile, but you are still very hands-on with the timeline adjustments and cropping requirements. Other limited AI tools might only handle automatic subtitles and offer zero help with the actual editing or reframing steps. This single solution combines auto-editing, smart reframing, automatic subtitles, and even built-in scheduling into one application.
The integrated scheduling calendar is a massive win, especially if you manage a small team or post consistently. You can let the system auto-schedule your posts at your preferred cadence instead of exporting files and updating a separate spreadsheet constantly. This is game-changing for achieving consistent posting across all three major platforms without constant micromanagement. However, I want to be honest, the AI isn't perfect and won't handle every single nuance flawlessly. The AI sometimes misses subtle sarcasm cues or might split a great moment in a visually awkward spot during its first pass. You should always do a quick final review to adjust the exact start and end points of clips if you spot any errors. If you require super custom motion graphics or very complex visual effects, you will still need to export to a dedicated, advanced editor. The real benefit is removing the most tedious, time-consuming parts, so you can focus on strategy and community interaction instead. Step 6 is adding your branding and a final call to action to every single short clip you publish. I always leave a small lower third area reserved for clean branding, maybe just a simple handle or small logo overlay. Make sure you add a short, clear CTA at the very end, like follow for more creator tips or link in bio for the full video. The great news is you can batch apply this branding and CTA across every single clip at once for total consistency. Step 7 is letting the system schedule and publish the content for you automatically. You simply use the auto schedule feature by setting the desired frequency and the target platforms, and it queues everything up. You maintain full control because you can still drag and drop the order in the content calendar whenever you need to make a change. Pro tip, try to create multiple micro clips from one live stream, not just one clip per session. Aim to extract five to 10 small clips, each with a completely different hook, like a funny reaction or a tactical piece of advice. Spread those 10 different clips out over two or three weeks to keep your feed looking consistently active for new viewers. This strategy gives new audiences multiple easy entry points to then discover your core, long-form content over time. In my own workflow on my YouTube interviews, the AI finds great candidate clips. I refine the framing and then I schedule them out over several weeks. The result is consistently more views and traffic back to the main episode without me having to spend an entire day chained to an editor. To conclude, vertical video is where the audience is, but long-form creators don't need to suffer just to participate in that space. A workflow with smart reframing, auto-subtitles, and integrated scheduling lets you scale your presence efficiently without burning out completely. While other tools are great for their specific tasks, this unified platform builds the repurposing pipeline specifically for creators focused on speed and quality. If you want a simple starter checklist before you hit that big upload button, remember these five key steps. Number one, download the highest quality MP4 file from your recording platform to start. Number two, upload it, run the auto clip pass, and then reframe everything to 916 with perfect captions. Number three, create two or three length variants, add a simple CTA, and then use the content calendar to schedule everything out automatically. That repeatable smart system is all you need to make your long form content work harder for your brand today. If you want me to do a follow-up video showing my exact settings live, let me know with a comment below. Also, tell me which platform you are most focused on right now, TikTok, Reels, or YouTube Shorts. Keep testing new things, keep creating awesome content, and I will see you in the next guide.